Hello again. Why are patients so often told by dentists that resin bonded bridges fall out all the time? I don't know. They never do. Under normal circumstances, so normal chewing, biting, uh, speaking, they never fall out. They are good for decades to go if they are, uh, were made right. Of course, they fall out for two reasons. First, that is traumata. So in case of an accident, a hit or so, they might fall out like you can see on the left side. But in this case, also teeth might fracture, teeth might uh, be lost. As you also see, this patient had already lost his central incisor due to trauma and he got another trauma. And so the resin bond bridge debonded, but it could be rebonded successfully. And the second reason why resin bonded bridges fall out is that they are made not in an adequate technique. So it's a lot of uh, things which can be done incorrectly and then they of course fall out. Of course dentists are not doing this on purpose. So they are not using incorrect methods or get contamination because they want to. That is because they never learned how to do resin bonded bridges correctly. So they were not taught the, about this in dental school and they did not attend uh, continue education courses maybe later on. And so they just tried to bond the resin bonded bridge to do it. And then they make minor but significant uh, errors, mistakes. And then of course, you can predict that this restoration will fall out. And for that reason, so many dentists, because they never learned how to do it correctly, they uh, prefer to recommend implants because implants are screws. And of course, screws, they do not fall out so easily. <laughs> so with a screw, you all know if you are using a screw to fix something in your wall, a screw will be good for many, many years. But um, implants, titanium screws, might run into biological problems. So we had quite a lot of problems with preimplantitis, or we have problems with growth. So implants do not grow together with the teeth. And so after a few years, uh, implants in the aesthetic zone might not be at the correct place anymore, and so on. So in case you have a missing tooth and you have um, sound adjacent teeth, a resin bonded bridge might be the right choice to be good for many, many years if it's done if it's done correctly. So you should ask your dentist if he or she is familiar with this technique and if not, go to someone else. Because if it's done right, it will be good for many, many years. You see on the right side um, a, a case where you can see that blood was going into the uh, looting resin. So there is some reddish uh, discoloration and we were happy that this resin restoration fall out because it was not fixed adequately. So in case you need something, you have to look for someone who is really familiar with this technique and then it is a very good restorative solution for replacing um, anterior teeth but also it can be used for posterior teeth. There are other videos where I explain this in more detail. I wish you all the best and see you next time. Bye.